Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It is Juventus, and they take on Hyderabad. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts. Juan Cuadrado starts with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three, no doubt about that. And they're underway in Turin. Well, the cross that time completely overcooked. Dusan Vlahovic. Well, he always has to be regarded. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. sure that there were no straps to feed on for the attackers but attacking possibilities but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Kostic well that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball Kostic has it Dusan Vlahovic. Vlahovic, can he do it? It could be up for grabs. Not a time for cool heads. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Now the advantage wasn't helping them, and so now they get the free kick. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. And options in the center. Di Maria. Vlaovic. Is it going to be? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Oh, he's through here. And there it is. The opening goal, 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it.
Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, it just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Kostic. Determined defending. And the referee says corner kick. But he's gone short with it. Di Maria. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly. He gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. And Juventus will get the throw in. Locatelli. Taken away, he won the ball. Well, he might be onto something. Strong hand on that one. Well, this could be a chance for Juventus to take the lead. They have a corner. Keen to take it short here. Locatelli. On to Di Maria. It has to be. And the keeper more than equal to it. Short corner, let's see. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Well, as you can see, Juventus have dominated the possession in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's a never opportunity. Superb stop. Going short. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And there goes the whistle, bringing to an end the first half here at the Allianz Stadium. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't posed much of a threat so far, and that's down to a couple of things. Yes, the service hasn't been great, but his movement hasn't been good enough today. And so they begin the second half here in Turin.
Di Maria. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, disappointing end to the move. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And deciding to give it to the keeper. Juventus recovering possession well. Di Maria. Promising sequence. Rabio. The object of the exercise from Juventus is to get brilliant save. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Taking the corner, Di Maria. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Rabio being egged on by the crowd. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebration! Underway again with Juventus in front. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Quadrado. Can they take advantage? Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. And they will make the change now. To the last 20 minutes. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Pogba. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? A foul, but no whistle. Instead, they were playing fluid football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. It's a substitution for Juventus. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in, but he's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Quadrado. Slipshod passing. Just 10 minutes to go. Firing is in. Making sure it didn't get past him. It's 
Jensny. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. Quadrado. A room to Rome on the wing. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. And the Juventus personnel change here. Well, opting for the short corner. Rabio, this could finish it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. How can they find a late leveller? He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, one performance I think most people have enjoyed, that of Angel Di Maria. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.